Well, guys, if you're wondering how to do a leveling kit on a uh, 2020 Ram 2500, looks like first step, pull the spring out. But uh, I don't think leveling kit's pretty, yeah, see this guys, it's pretty easy. You pretty much put the spacer here and it lifts it, I believe it's two and a quarter. He's got shocks. Let's see, on this side over here. This whole thing just drops right out. So they haven't taken this doing? side out. So looks like Travis uh, hasn't finished this side. Looks like he's destroying it. That's Ding Travis. Dingleberry Automotive over here. There you go. Ready. This is Wang Dang Doodle Automotive. And uh, engineering going on. Yeah, I, that's good. That's that's right there. You're good right there. You need to touch it, right? Yeah. I got so much editing to do when Travis is in the vlog, dude. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Tons of editing when this guy's in the vlog. It's so hard. This kit, guys, is the, uh, what kit is it, Sean? The Rough Country? Rough country. So there's the old shock right there. Comes with all new bushings. Wow. Looks good. It's that easy. So this kid's literally probably gonna take an hour. Why do I have two? <laughs> so if, you guys, if you guys got two of them, we're not uh, sure yet. Uh, probably because you the one you took off, maybe? That was, no, the one I took off is uh, right here. Yeah. I don't know why you have maybe you got extra or no maybe that's for the other one. side no did they right give you two in one bag for two but oh. you screwed up and gave you two well, all right excellent in case you got hey, some inventory are now. you still recording yeah all right never mind what <laughs> <laughs> he can edit it. So. Dude, I got so much. You should have seen that. It's always better if you get an extra. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. I can always, you know, go. It's always better when we get extra. Beep. I got a lot of beeps on Travis so in the vlog. Just tighten that up. It should snug all the way to tight. Yeah. You don't have to put the hurt to it. Is there stickers on both sides of that shock? Yep. Why? With the, Which, the heat out. <laughs> you don't want stickers on there? You want to replace yeah, them? Put some County Motor Park stickers? No, I'm not going to advertise for them. There you go. All right, I guess, guys, you know uh, I guess I'm going to edit the name out. It's not Rough Country. It's, just <laughs> kind of, it's a County Motor Parts kit, so if you guys want one, kit. yeah, come on by. Wow. The, the shock looks upside down, too. No. <laughs> what? That's, that's weird. So you should order the boot, put over the top of it. Yeah, that's what I thought. No, that's the right size. No, no it's not. No. Uh, uh. It's a bigger nut too. <laughs> there you go. It's not just extra, it's bigger. So are you doing it into the back or no? Uh, no, we're not gonna put it. It's here, but we're not gonna put it on. Okay. But you are gonna do something to the back? No. No, this came with two shocks. Ah, oh, no, okay. there's plates in there. No, because this kit, oh, you uh, do have plate. originally, if you look at mine, mine sits just a little higher in the front. In the front? So they give you this one inch kit. To hey, it's oh, to level it out? Yeah, completely. Oh, but you can't better. order just the front no more. The only way you can order is both. Okay, guys. Oh, well, there it's you like, go. You okay? I gotta get both. It's like thirty dollars more for the shock in that. Oh, out. then yeah. And I would get, I would get it regardless. And for you guys asking me about the old the, uh, Studebaker Avanti, it's still here in the shop or in the in the garage, I should say. It's almost done. Uh, I believe the brakes will be all done. He's actually putting a line lock on it also because he wants to take it to Barona. So, and I think, let me see, I don't know if he installed. So he's doing uh, new brake lines, all stainless steel. Did the shocks on this thing. The line lock, I don't think it has installed yet. It's probably still on the, yeah, workbench right here. So here it is. He's going to put a line lock on it. So all he does is push the button and lock those front tires up, and bam, this thing is ready to go. But uh, he's going to paint it. It's going to be all freshly painted red. And hopefully this thing, uh, it will be running pretty damn soon. I mean, it runs. It starts. But he's doing brakes because I had no brakes. He put new tires on it. Uh, this thing is, is going to be pretty awesome once it's ready to go. And we got the old Jeeper here. A little dirty. Needs to be washed. And we got the Witch the Grams Mustang over here. This thing's a little dirty, dirty too. Needs to be washed also. All these trucks uh, need to be washed. And all these vehicles, I should say, except that one. That one's just ready to go. What did you say? Good enough? Yeah. What? <laughs> I mean, yeah. You don't want it too tight. You want a little play so when you go down the road, it shakes a little bit. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't feel your wheels. Yeah. 
Oh. Like, is it wheels or what is it? Nah, it's not wheel. Oh, it looks good. All right, so I need this one. So do they give you a new spring or no? no. You still no, use the OEM spring. spring. They yeah, just give you a spacer, spacer. Mm -hmm. and the shock. Okay. Yep. All right. Did that's fine. Time, time, what? What? time for you to do the other side. Let's go. Travis is gone. He's no longer working on this thing anymore. Put the whole thing back together. Hey, Travis. <laughs> I don't know. Travis was holding it for him, and then he just got a phone call and up and left. Yeah. <laughs> he's literally holding it. He's like, hey, what's up, bro? <laughs> That's Travis yeah, for you over there, guys. Glamis this weekend is closed. I'm not going to Glamis. <laughs> closed, man. So, guys, uh, once they pop that off, this one, same thing like on the other side. It's just going to... I just don't uh, know if you want to put one side back together. Go, go, one. go right up in there. <laughs> they might hold it together. Why, why, what do you mean? Why don't you just do this one also? Well, wouldn't it be better to... I don't know. That's what I'm asking because he's done it twice now. Okay. Hey, uh, let's put this side back together. Why why do you gotta do uh, one side at a time? Because when you push it back up to get the No, you gotta do the springs, springs the all at the same time. Ah, gotcha. uh, okay. Because you can't put one in and drop the whole fucking thing up. Okay. There you go guys. See that? No Keep cell. that spring in the same location so it's up and down. So we don't lose the rotation. I don't care how it sits. It only sits one way. There you go. This one here. Yeah, this should come off pretty easy. What's up, brother? Here we go oh, again. Wow. What's oh, up, brother? Oh, that's a little bit tougher on this side. Oh, you? Well, you're not really hitting that side anyway, so it doesn't really matter. This one's gonna be. If you're wondering, guys, which way it goes, put, see it looking like. It's out. Oh, God. <laughs> side out. See the little bend right there? See that? That side, the bend side, goes out that way. Wait. Oh, okay. So much edit. This video is going to take me forever. It's not even going to be worth the editing. Let's get it started first. Oh, 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 oh. I got the three stages. Oh, my goodness. Mini Moan Jack. All right. I think I left everything on the other side. <laughs> We need to get you left everything on there? <laughs> I, I was going to do the shock first, and I decided not to. So I right. go get. Yeah. And we got this guy doing his zero to sixty runs on the forklift. He's gonna come back down and time it and see. And that's the dog who's the nice. There you go. Get him, ranch. No, no. Get him, ranch. Now he's doing zero to sixty runs on that one. Oh, oh, what's he doing over there? <laughs> oh, we gotta go check it out over here. Let's see. Let's see. What what? Uh... Oh, he wants to get the fuel tank. You want that big strap? <laughs> you want the big strap? You think I can get it up in the air or am I going to drag it on the ground? Oh, you can get it in the air. Let me get the strap. Pretty now. That's it. Shocks. It's that easy. Well, it was. It's not now. What? I don't know. Hey guys, make sure you pull this way Loose. back on. Huh? Well, you no, you didn't. You told me don't put the hurt to it. Oh, it's not what you said. Yes, it's what I said. I rolled back the video. It was right after he said. <laughs> video. Prove them wrong. This is after oh. engineering right here. You guys okay. sound like Paul and Paul Senior. <laughs> what's that? What's that? Um... He's definitely senior. <laughs> <Yeah>. Rich eye. <laughs> here you go, guys. It's all done. I know this truck is. It's kind of dark, and, but the leveling kit's on. <clears throat> it's a uh, two and a half inch leveling kit on here, and you can see it's, it's sitting pretty level now. The back, I don't know, does the back still look a little higher? Or no, it look pretty level. It's got to sit after it hits a couple bumps, it'll settle. It'll settle? Yeah. Okay. So once it, yeah, because it was on the rack, so once it settles. But you can't tell it's higher because the truck looked like now it's skip leg day. So he is getting some bigger tires uh, and rims for it here very shortly. And also for you guys asking me, it is a 2020, and for the uh, CP4 pump, because I'm sure you guys are gonna ask me, I checked it, it does have the six dimples, it does not have the updated pump in this thing, so I don't know if he's gonna complain see to the, the dealer or what. See how here, see how it's in? Oh, we got a bumper right issue over here on this, this truck. Side. So this thing is pushed all the way in, yep. right there, and the other side is coming out sitting flush, so well, you might need a new, uh, to replace the front bumper. Not sure uh, why it's like that. 
See that? This side's pushed all the way in. And I'll show you guys uh, the inside of the truck. So this has uh, the regular headlights. I don't, I don't know regular, but they're they're not the projection. They're they're the LED still, but they're just the um, I guess regular LED bulb in there. And then I will show you the inside of the truck. He just also installed the amp steps because it did not come with steps, so he put the amp steps in here. And here's the inside. It's, I mean, they're pretty much all the same. The only difference. Uh, this one's got the 8 inch screen, regular screen. It the heated, all like the, the heated stuff, he actually has buttons. So on mine, there are no buttons on it. Um, it's on the screen where you got to physically push the screen itself and hit the button. So it's kind of nice to have, you know, buttons, I think. I don't know, in case your screen malfunctions. But he's got all the, um, the exhaust brake, the tow haul, parking front and rear. It's got the charger. It's pretty much, guys, the same as you know the the limited i mean i don't know some of you guys are probably gonna say are you crazy it's not it looks limited well, way better but i mean i don't know is is paying the extra money worth having this massive screen i mean i would be happy with this there's nothing wrong with this uh but i will admit i do like the big screen you know it does make it look good and then he's got the leather steering wheel uh here the, the gauge is different i so i noticed when i started it it's not blue uh on this gauge and the numbers are a little um different but other than that, guys, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Center console, same. This thing still slides. Oh, that's a little different. So mine has a, a cover right there. But there's a, there's minor minor differences in this thing. Looks like here he's got, I don't know if it's suede. Got some wood grain there. But I gotta say, these things are good looking trucks. He does have the uh, sunroof. Oh, he's got the two-toned interior. I didn't even notice that. So he's got the tan. Mine is just all, the whole thing is all black. So this is the two-tone. All the options here are the same. Yeah, that's about it, guys. Let me know. Another thing, speaker. So uh, this, I think this is just the uh, regular generic uh, speakers that are in this, not the, I forget the name of mine, Carden, Armin Carmen, something like that. I don't remember the name. But this is a Laramie. So I don't know. I, I thought Laramie is fully loaded. So I don't, I don't know if it's fully loaded or not, this thing, but... I mean, it's, it's got everything, heated, AC, the, you know, the seats, the steering wheel. It's got the whole shebang in it, so I would assume this is uh, pretty much fully loaded for the Laramie. Oh, hey, watch your paint, watch your paint. Watch your, watch your away from the fiberglass. You guys can sit there all day getting that thing red hot like that. <laughs> Why don't you put it on there and then just like lay that down and let it sit on it? The problem is this hot, this is going to expand too. Yeah. Shit, you, you're gonna be there all night doing this. <laughs> Might need a welding torch. Yeah. Well, guys, we're back home. I know. I apologize. That was probably the worst. Actually, I think it is the worst install video we have ever done. It was very uh, unprofessional, very undetailed. Uh, it was a, uh, it was a mess, pretty much. Uh, took forever. Uh, everybody was sort of scattered everywhere. We were supposed to there to work, get it done quick, and it turned out, you know, started barbecuing. I started smoking a cigar. Uh, you know, so it didn't really uh, pan out the way I expected it to. So uh, I'm going to call this the uh, worst install leveling kit ever. <laughs> I, I apologize, guys. But on some other news, uh, Home Depot called the wood splitter has came in. So now we are finally going to go head over there and uh, get this splitter going because I don't know if I have updated you guys on my wood pile. And if you're asking me why did you even get so much wood, Eddie, well, it's free. And, uh, you know, getting free stuff these days is very hard to get. But check it out. Look at that. Now, Pops actually just bought some, like, insane wood splitter for his tractor. Um, I don't have a, well, I have a tractor, but not his. He's got that cat tractor because I don't think my wood splitter is going to split that. Yeah, but look at this. Look at that, guys. That's right. We got some wood, baby. That's right. That's right. So uh, now it's time to go split it. And it's funny, too, is when I look for wood, I can find logs all day for free. Bunch of logs. Come pick them up. Well, the problem is, and the reason is why I never picked them up was because I don't have a wood splitter. But I'm like, you know what? I keep finding all these dang logs for free. 
it's time for me to go buy a wood splitter. So, you know, uh, let's go buy it. Stay tuned for that vlog. But um, I apologize again for the leveling kit. I know it was pretty bad, so my fault. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.